Hi, I'm back here again in Google Sheets and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a copy of a sheet you've already created as well as copy the script which it's making use of so that you can apply that for a different purpose and not have to repeat all of the work that you did. On my spreadsheet here I have a sheet for business expenses however it's not populated with anything yet. I'd like to use the same format that I used here for my vehicle logbook so what I'll do is right click this sheet and delete it. Then I'll make a copy of this sheet by right clicking and going to duplicate and I'll rename this as I need it. Now I'll go ahead and change all of the labels and data fields up here to suit what I want to see. Okay, so I've gone ahead and renamed all of my different entry fields as well as my different column headers to reflect the kind of data that they're going to receive. I've also included a date field up the top here so that the date that you're entering this record is included. However, you can change it if you want to. If, for example, you're entering an expense that you received three weeks ago, you can simply change that date and use the little drop-down calendar to select the appropriate date. I don't need to change anything about my home button because that's still assigned to the script which it was assigned to on my previous sheet, my vehicle logbook. However, I have added a total expenses field here which I'll need to add a formula to. And that's just going to be a sum of this range here. So whichever values we end up with in these fields, we'll get a total of here. But we might want these to be displayed as dollar values and we certainly want our total to reflect dollar values as well. So I'll first of all select all of this range by holding shift and selecting all of those cells then holding control and selecting this cell and this cell and I'll format those as number currency. However, now that we've changed all of our column headers and cell values, if we run the script that's attached to this button, we're not going to get quite what we want. We're going to get something similar. Our line formatting is carried over, but none of our values have come down. We also haven't gotten the correct date because that date has been generated within the script and it's not copied from this cell here. So let's take a look at the script editor. This is the function which is being run. Uh, however, it's doing quite a lot of things that we don't really want to do. What I'll do is just make a copy of that entire function and paste it down below. I'm going to change the name of the function. It's very important that you don't have two functions with the same name. I'll delete these lines here which are unnecessary. I'll also remove my if and else if statements. And now all we need to worry about are these variables here and the different ranges that we'll be clearing. So I'll start here and we know we need to clear F2 to F4 and that's already been cleared. We need to clear I3 and I4. We already have a range which is clearing I3 so we can simply add the colon and then I4. We might like to rename some of these variables next. So we'll go with details, amount, job. And if we remember from the previous videos, here we're defining our destination cells and here we're defining our origin cells. So we simply need to adjust these based on what position we want them to end up at. We want to get rid of new date because we want to copy the date directly from the sheet which is in range L2. And there we go, I've adjusted all of my different origin and destination cells. I'll save my changes and now we can add this function name to our button and see what happens. I'm changing the assigned function by right clicking on the button, clicking on the dot 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 and replacing the assigned script. Great, now that that's done we'll add some dummy details and see if it works.
Okay, it looks like we've done everything correctly. You'll notice that in my expense type, I also have data validation, which I'm again listing from a list of items. And I've pretty much just added whatever I think is reasonable in here. You can add to this or subtract from it as you need to. But these are going to be my most common expenses. You can also just add your own value in here if you choose to. And that data will be transcribed down here just like it would normally. It looks like our total expenses cell is also working well. And I've left the top right hand corner blank, but I might add some analytics later if I choose to. If you can think of something useful that you want to put in there to do some kind of calculation on your business expenses, then go right ahead. So that's about it for this video, just to show you how quickly and easily you can copy scripts and sheets to make them do something quite different while keeping the same uh, format and not redoing too much of your original work. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.